Most phyla invertebrates lack specialized respiratory organs, but they have developed means for the exchange of gases by the process of diffusion. In annelids like earthworm, oxygen and carbon dioxide are able to diffuse across cutaneous surface. The process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide across the skin is called cutaneous respiration. To facilitate cutaneous respiration, the skin of the earthworm is moist and slimy due to the secretion of mucus. During breathing, oxygen diffuses across the body surface and enters blood capillaries that lie just below the skin. Blood carries the oxygen to the body cells. There, in return, it picks up carbon dioxide and transports it to the skin capillaries from where it diffuses out of the body. Unlike earthworm, insects like cockroaches have a hard and impervious exoskeleton. They do not have single respiratory organ. Instead, the respiratory system of insects like cockroach consists of small, branched, cuticle-lined air ducts called tracheae. These tracheae form the tracheal system in the body that carries oxygen from air to all the parts of an insect's body and allows the diffusion of gases into the tissues. The air enters the trachea by specialized opening present in the exoskeleton. These openings are called spiracles. These spiracles can be opened or closed by valves. Spiracles and trachea constitute the respiratory system of cockroaches. During the process of respiration, the oxygen-rich air rushes into the tracheal tubes through the spiracles. These trachea are further branched into small tracheoles. The tracheoles are the series of tubes that transport gases throughout the body. Oxygen diffuses into the body tissues from the tracheoles and finally gets absorbed by all the cells of the body. And in return, carbon dioxide that is produced as a byproduct from the cells is released by the cells of the body. The carbon dioxide from the tissues diffuses into the tracheal tubes and finally goes out through the spiracles. Thus, invertebrates like annelids and anthropods display a wide variety of respiratory organs including the epithelium and trachea. These adaptations also bring the external environment close to the internal fluid, which usually circulates throughout the body.